Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. In physics, in the context of electromagnetism, Birkhoff's theorem concerns spherically symmetric static solutions of Maxwell's field equations of electromagnetism. The theorem is due to George D. Birkhoff. It states that any spherically symmetric solution of the source-free Maxwell equations is necessarily static. Pappas, 1984, gives two proofs of this theorem using Maxwell's equations and Lie derivatives. It is a limiting case of Birkhoff's theorem, relativity, by taking the flat metric without back reaction. Derivation from Maxwell's equations, the source-free Maxwell's equations state that nabla times E equals minus del B del T. Nabla times B equals mu epsilon del E del T. Since the fields are spherically symmetric, they depend only on the radial distance and spherical coordinates. The field is purely radial as non-radial components cannot be invariant under rotation, which would be necessary for symmetry. Therefore, we can rewrite the fields as E, R, T, equals E, R, T, R, carat B, R, T equals B, R, T, R, carat. We find that the curls must be zero, since nabla times E equals nabla times R, T, R, carat. Ruvnashe zero, be ruvnashe be, er, te, Moreover, we can substitute into the source-free Maxwell equations to find that mu epsilon del E del T equals zero minus del B del T equals zero. Simply dividing by the constant coefficients, we find that both the magnetic and electric field are static del E del T equals zero, del B del T equals zero. Derivation using Lie derivatives defining the one form E and two form B in our three as. E equals EID, or IB equals epsilon, IJK, BID, or J, and D, or K using the Hodge star operator. We can rewrite Maxwell's equations with these forms as DB equals zero D star operator, E equals zero star operator, D star operator, E equals ED, E equals minus B. The spherical symmetry condition requires that the Lie derivatives of E and B with respect to the vector field V that represents their rotations are zero V I equals epsilon I J K, R J del del, R K L V, equals zero L V B, equals zero. By the definition of delia derivative as the direction of derivative alone, ye, er, rovnitko ye, kier, kno rovnitko er, d, er, plus el, d, el, i rovnitko v, e, d, el, i plus e, v, d, el, Therefore, E is equivalent to our under rotation, and we can write for some function G equals G, R2, T, R I D R I. Because the product of the components of the vector are just its length, our i, our i equals our two. And substituting back into our equation and rewriting for a function f e equals df, our two t. Taking the exterior derivative of e, we find by definition that d e equals zero. And using our Maxwell equation that d e equals minus b, b equals zero. Thus, we find that the magnetic field is static. Similarly, using the second rotational invariance equation, we can find that the electric field is static. Therefore, the solution must be static.